I did a full, full skincare ex. I was trying to sleep like a grown woman. So I had to place an order. Y'all hear that? You can't just be dropping that on me. Short rib tacos, y'all. Now let me get back to this combo. On my way to the farmers market after leaving the gym I only <clears throat> walked today in the gym because I have a race tomorrow so I'm not about to overexert myself I actually didn't even stretch because I was thinking that I was going to go to the farmers market that's a little bit further away from my house but I'm just gonna go to the one that closes at 1 p.m. Um, it's fall, I do have a fall bucket list. I have not been paying as much attention to this bucket list as I have with my summer bucket list, but I do believe attending the farmer's market is still up there, which carried over from my summer bucket list. And I do believe that I did include dining alone up there as well. The um, other day I went to Whole Foods and I had dinner by myself because Bay was out of town for work. So it was like a good time to dine alone. So we're going to go throughout this week because I got a few things to do today. When I say a few things, I mean, I'm keeping it light. I'm resting because this past week kicked my tail, okay? But this week is going to be a little lighter. I'm actually off on Friday and a half a day on Thursday because I am taking some mental health days. All right, so let's go. Let's, let's get things done, girl. I lied to you not. I'm in TJ Maxx now and I was just looking at the um, LED light vanity mirrors for maybe 15 minutes. And I've been wanting one, but now I'm definitely gonna order one off of Amazon. They had two options that I was looking at. One has the bulbs, the other one is seamless. And I like the metal frame of the one that had the bulbs, but I don't like the bulbs. They're big and bulky. don't like that but it's on a metal swivel frame which i like the price is really good but this is the style that i want but the base is plastic and i don't like that but i like how seamless it is with the lights built in why am i so excited i could cry look at these mugs i literally almost ordered um some like this off of amazon but these are pink and they match my glasses that i own and my shot glasses this is absolutely gorgeous and they have green they got the green ones i like the pink better because it matches the pink that i already have but look at these they're gorgeous, just gorgeous. My compromise is I'm only gonna get one. Like, I would like to have a set at work and at home. But I'ma chill, I'ma chill.
Today is a much better day than yesterday. Yesterday, I barely made it through work. I worked from home, so that made my life a little bit easier, but it was just a rough day overall. So yesterday, I made sure that I took care of myself. I did a full, full skincare, exfoliated my face, exfoliated my body with my gloves, and then I have this new exfoliant that I use on my hands because we want youthful hands as well. And I slept amazing. There's no such thing as sleeping like a baby because babies wake up in the middle of the night and they cry. So I was not trying to sleep like a baby. I was trying to sleep like a grown woman, okay? And that's what I did. I slept through the night. I think I slept from 10.30 until like 8. My body woke up naturally, no alarm clock. That is my favorite way of sleeping. And then when I woke up, um, when I got up, went to the gym, you already know that. And CJ Maxx just made my day. Yesterday I went to Target and I spent a little bit of money on some athleisure and then I ordered more athleisure because I didn't like the way some of those pieces fit. And I'm just like in a better mood, not because I spent money, but because I intentionally took care of myself. I slept, I did my skincare with my smell goods to alter my mood. When I um, was feeling overwhelmed, I realized that I didn't wanna listen to podcasts, I didn't wanna listen to music, I didn't want any more words, no extra stimuli. So I typed in like peaceful music or you could type in spa music. I also like the Native American like flute whistle sounds. I listened to that to clear my mind and help me de-stress and that was very helpful. The sun is out, it's a nice day. I made sure I didn't drink all of my coffee that y'all saw earlier because I'm gonna shower and then if I wanna go back to sleep, I'm gonna go back to sleep. So that's the vibe that I'm on. Mental health, self-care, taking care of myself because with the work that I do with people overdosing, non-fatal, and then there are actual fatal overdoses, it becomes a lot. It becomes a lot taking care of other people's mental health and then also getting other people to realize that drug users are also mental health patients. So just like we treat mental health clients with love, compassion, and empathy, the same needs to happen for drug users. So I find that people, when it comes to drug use, they either think about it in one of two ways. They're either very law and order, lock up the drug dealers, lock up the drug users, or they understand that they need to be treated with empathy and compassion because people don't wake up and decide to be um, opioid users, crack users, or anything else. So that's all that I got, y'all. Yesterday, I ran my 5K. Hey guys, it's me, Tiff Chie, here with you for another video of Run With Me, taking off my bonnet. Look at all this hair. My husband is probably still asleep. Uh, putting on socks. Why are my socks gray? Look, cooking that up. This looks like you're making baking soda for the Pyrex. Good morning. All right, guys, I'm here to register. Peep the number, 6360. In my red shirt pulling up look at me giving him the sexy eyes look at these little kids all in the way and we off look at me coming down to scratch Boom. Allison Felix who period poo and we are done check me out red white and blue Y'all, my thighs hurt so bad from that 5K. I don't know why my quads are so sore, but they are. And it just is what it is. So I can barely walk down my stairs without feeling the pain. The number one thing that I did wrong was I didn't stretch yesterday. I just didn't feel like it. I laid up, didn't stretch. But listen, this is your mental health lesson that's going to apply from the example of my 5k right now i am out for a walk because it's nice outside but i am a firm believer that when it comes to mental health the only way out is through the only way to escape your pain or to minimize your pain and your emotions that you no longer want to experience is to process through the emotions so you actually need to feel your emotions 
and not try to avoid them. So I have to go through them, experience them fully, process that experience because that is the only way that I can get out of it. When I stuff emotions, when I stuff pain down, it's just going to manifest and then morph into something different that becomes larger that I really don't know how to manage. So that's the way that I'm processing this physical pain. The only way out of this physical pain of my quads hurting really bad is to move through the pain. So I have to keep moving. I can't just sit down and that's what happened yesterday. I was sore, I felt the pain, but I stayed still instead of moving through it by stretching. So here I am on this walk talking to you all trying to move through that pain hey y'all today is tuesday i worked a little bit and then i said oh i need to go vote because like this is like the super niche vote where like it affects all of your hyper local stuff so i went ahead and i went to go vote and now i need to make some coffee okay so i'm going to show y'all how i make my coffee without a coffee maker everything on the stove no coffee maker needed no keurig no wasteful little pods where you're constantly disposing of the plastic and ruining our environment Today was wash day, as you can see. The hair was wild, the scalp was dirty, so I had to get it done. Plus, I need to look cute for my date with my line sister on Thursday. Haven't done these mini twists in a few months, actually. They take so long um to both put in and take out that i was giving myself a break from them 
but I like how multifunctional they are as far as styling. I think this is the vibe that I wanted to go for with my look on Thursday. So I have um, one of two outfit ideas planned. So gotta get her done. I got a new mirror off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. I ordered it off of Amazon and it got here in two days. I'm very happy about that. I ordered it at the beginning of my walk on, what's today, Tuesday? Dang, I ordered it at the beginning of my walk yesterday. So yeah, it got here the next day, not two days, which was super quick and I'm happy about that so that I could use it to do my hair today and to do my makeup on Thursday. morning today is Wednesday the 8th and I look so cute so I put um, a little bit of effort into the way that I look today because we got an email yesterday stating that our job is allowing us to get new headshots with the company photographer my headshot from a few years ago eats down like I use that for my zoom and I use it as a picture of my like intro slides to like introduce myself to the crowd. So I was trying to see if I could top that picture from a few years ago because it is so cute. So anywho, that's why I put a little makeup on today. And luckily the timing was perfect since I needed to wash my hair yesterday anyway for my sister date tomorrow. So that's what's on the menu for today. I've already worked out, feeling good. My um, jacket is from, well, my coat is from Loft last season. And this beautiful like Kelly green shirt is from TJ Maxx. I got it um, last weekend. Yeah, last weekend when we went shopping and I bought all them glasses, yeah. I got this shirt at that um, point in time too. I feel like this color is going to be my color of the season between this and um, buying more ox blood, like red wine colors. That's gonna be it for me because I look amazing in this and I got some boots that got like this color green in it. So that's what I'm about to go do, about to go take my pictures. In our house, we are not really delivery people. When I say not really, I mean at all. They will always go pick up the food. Because one, I feel like when you get your food delivered, it's almost like they intentionally don't make it right. Especially if you go into like Cobb or Chipotle or something like that, they be skipping on your toppings and ain't nobody got time for that. But I got an email saying that Insomnia Cookies was delivering for free when you purchase $25 worth of cookies. And they got this new Speculos cookie that I have been wanting. So I had to place an order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got three of the Speculos cookies and then three of the salted caramel cookies. That's the deluxe cookie. That deluxe cookie costs close to $5. It's my absolute favorite cookie. I love it down. I love it so much. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Before I ate my dinner, I went ahead and took a bite. And by bite, I mean like I ate half the cookie. The speculose cookie. And it's good. If not better than my salted caramel. I was expecting cookie butter. But it's still good. It's good. It's good. If y'all watch TikTok, then you know. Hi, taste bag. It's good. Let me show y'all these cookies. You gotta do a reveal. 
on something that's as delicious as this. Look at it. So that's the salted caramel. And then these are the speculose cookies. So if um, I was expecting it to be kind of like Trader Joe's cookie butter ice cream because the cookie butter ice cream is made out of speculose cookies, it won't like that, but it was still good to meet y'all. I ain't complaining, but I really, my greedy self wanted these cookies so that I could have me a little snack in my pocketbook um, at me and my line sister's date tomorrow. That's very greedy. That's very greedy, but you know what? I'm not ashamed. It just is what it is. So I'm about to eat me just a little piece of this. <laughs> little piece. Okay, I'm going to eat this much. And then I might eat this since it's just hanging there. You know what I mean? This is what I whipped up for dinner real quick, though. This is sourdough bread, mozzarella cheese, some mushrooms that I sauteed and jerk seasoning, tomato and then on my husband's sandwich i put chicken on mine i didn't put any meat i just had the mushrooms tomato and cheese and it was originally supposed to be like a vegetarian grilled cheese but baby at this point it's a panini y'all hear that mm -hmm. this is my husband's version he'll eat it when he get home from the gym it's thursday and i am officially on leave well specifically it's thursday at noon because i worked a half day I'm so glad to be off. I have a smoothie that I made with banana, pear, mixed berry, water, and then ashwagandha. I'm going to drink this and I'm going to lay down and take a nap because I really need it. I don't know. Just feeling a little sluggish. I want to start getting ready at around 2, 2.30. Probably 2.30. That's what makes sense. So I can leave at 4. 430 because I'm likely going to Uber in because DC has been riddled with crime and carjackings lately and I really just don't feel like dealing with it. So Bay is going to get me an Uber. Happy hour at the restaurant is so delicious. So our reservation isn't until six, but I want to get there a little earlier for happy hour. And my line sister is always on time. So I don't got to worry about that.